Hey YouTube, it's Audrey, and I'm here to share with you my project for the design team of the Cutting Cafe, but I have a little surprise. We are doing a blog hop. So, if you are watching this video, you might want to go to the Cutting Cafe's blog to start the blog hop. If you are on my blog, then you probably came from Tamika, who's also Scrapped the World on YouTube. And then after me, you need to head on over to Patty's blog, which is Cherish, Cherish Each Precious Day Blogspot.com. I'll have that information listed in my video um, in the comments below. Also, I will have it listed on my blog. So, my blog, if you're here, is the is SoGoodCrafter.com. So, it's S-E-W Crafter.com. And I will have that information below if you're watching my video. Also, as a surprise, each one of the design team members is giving away the file that they used. And today, I used the Assorted Purse template file which is chocked full of options there are five different purse shapes there are about seven or eight different handle styles that you could use um there are tags with sentiments there are embellishments just all kinds of stuff i love this file and so what i made is this cute little blingy box and I used some shimmer paper in a pink. And then I used this holographic rose pattern for the bottom portion. I added each and every one of these pearls in iridescent, um, in iridescent colors. And then what I have done was I used glue dots to glue each one on. But these are the box pearls that you can get from Michaels. The handle is from a string of beads from Hobby Lobby. And then I added these little rhinestone circles into the hole. And with this file, you can make it with the holes there to put a strap in. Or you can make it without and you could like use paper straps if you'd like. Then I added a bling bow with iridescent rhinestones. Here on the side, you can see the box. And the file comes with two different versions. This box, as you can see, folds in. But then there is the box that does not. So you can change that. As you can see, I knotted the ends of my pearl strands so they wouldn't come out. I have it closed with a magnet. And I covered the magnet with that rose iridescent paper um, just for a little decoration. So that pops closed. Then on the back, I just added a little extra interest with some iridescent pink sequins. So this little doozy could be a great gift for a holder, gift holder for um, jewelry for some little embellishments or whatever you'd like to give but I just love the way it turned out I love purses purses are a great little way if you can make boxes out of them to um, you know house a little something something for somebody so again I'll have the link to the file below in my YouTube video and on my blog and in order for you to when my particular file, you need to be a subscriber, whether you're watching on YouTube or if you're um, leading or you're on my blog and have seen this video on my blog, you need to be a subscriber of my blog or my YouTube channel. You need to first tell me what you think about my project. Second, if you've ever used the Cutting Cafe file, and third, why you think you like the Cutting Cafe files if you have not used them or why you do like them if you have used them. So three things that you have to um, let me know in your comment. 
So I look forward to hearing from you. Again, after me, you are going to Patty, whose blog is Cherish Each Precious Day Blogspot.com. And if you want to start from the beginning, head on over to the Cutting Cafe's blog, and I'll have that link on my blog and in the video comments below. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you for hopping, and you have a great and very, very blessed day. Bye-bye.